While we are discussing how we represent numbers using binary, we should also consider the following issue. Here is a binary number. Now you should have no trouble converting this to decimal as follows by noting that the exponents for these positions can be numbered like so. And then by noting where the ones occur, we realize that this is 64 plus 8 plus 2 and is equal to 74 in base 10. However, this is really just a convention. There's no reason that this same number cannot be equal to something else. For example, if I write this number out again, but I reverse the order of the exponents, like so, then my interpretation changes. I end up with 2 plus 16 plus 64, and my answer is 82 in base 10. Now, we will continue using this representation in this course, but it's important to realize that a computer could store its binary numbers in either order and work perfectly fine. In fact, there are names for these two representations. This one, which we are used to, in which we start with the most significant bit and then go down to the least significant bit, is known as big Indian bit order. In contrast, this ordering in which we go from the least significant bit to the most significant bit is known as little Indian bit order. The question of how we order our bits is called bit Indianness. However, it should be noted that in some communities, this term Indian is actually reserved to mean something else instead. Not bit ordering, as we've used it here, but rather byte ordering. Using the term Indian and Indianness is the more common usage for byte ordering. So what do I mean by byte ordering? Well, let's consider this binary number that is 16 bits long. In other words, this 16-bit number consists of two bytes. Remember, a byte is 8 bits. So in many computers, there are addressable units that are larger than a single bit. It is very rare to be able to refer to a single bit. We refer instead to a byte or sometimes other units. So that means if we store this information in memory, we would have to fit it somehow into what is essentially a big linear array. At least we can think of it that way, with positions numbered like so. Here is another memory, and we will be comparing, contrasting two different ways of storing this information in memory. But to make this a bit easier to do, let's first convert this sequence of 16 bits into hexadecimal. So this group of 4 is the hex value 6. This group of 4 is the hex value b. This group of 4 is the hex value 2. 
in this group of four is the hex value D. Now notice that in this example, I have implicitly used big endian bit order. If I were using little endian bit order, then the interpretation of these values in the hex would be different. But regardless of what bit ordering scheme I'm using, I also have to consider how I order my bytes. And one option is to take one byte, this one here, 6b, and put it in position 0 like this, and to put the next one, 2d, in position 1 like this. So I am storing this 16-bit number at position 0, and I take the higher order bits and put them in the lower numbered memory address, and I put the lower order bits in the higher number memory address. This is known as big Indian byte ordering. Now in contrast, if I were doing little Indian byte ordering, I would start with 2D, the lower order bits, in the lower numbered memory address, and then put 6D, the higher order bits in the higher numbered memory address. Knowing how to order bytes and bits is very important for computers. Either convention will work, but consistency is necessary.